Hello. I'm just finishing up tonight. I just, I'm just now parking my truck for the night. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my training that I had this week. And why it's taken me to the scripture. Okay, there are procedures for loading and unloading a tanker. Okay, it's haul I'm hauling water. And so there's sanitary things that you need to follow and um, a certain order that things have to be done and uh, just for different reasons for safety and for um, for health and hygiene reasons okay so anyway I'm going to try to make this short because I'm pretty tired and I'm ready to go home but I just wanted to share this because it's very important um, it's important that we learn to listen to the things that are good for us, okay? And I'm talking about this because I struggle with this myself. Um, learning to follow the Holy Spirit, okay? That's, you know, that's the, that's the great relationship teacher okay and so anyway I'm over at this facility and my company sends another driver over to the facility to meet me there so that I can be trained okay because I've never done this before I've never done water before so um, anyhow anytime that you do a new job you get training in some sort of way or, or another okay and and so I'm over here at this facility getting trained and probably about 45 minutes into the training another driver comes in and starts asking us questions about the way that we're doing the procedure and the, the instructor the guy that's teaching me is you know basically just says hey this is the way we were taught to do it and that's how we're going to do it and that's why I'm training her because that's what I was told to do and this guy's well you know oh you don't have to do that you don't have to worry about doing it that way or um, like with the gloves we have to put gloves on to unload this to hook up the hoses to turn on the valves to, to touch anything we need to wear these rubber gloves we're dealing with water that is coming from a spring it's going into bottled water so yeah you want to follow the procedure right well that's just where this all started at and uh, so it was, it was kind of uh, frustrating it was kind of confusing because you have one person saying one thing and somebody else is saying something different and I'm in the middle trying to learn you know learn how to do this and so after the after all this was done we were there probably about two hours total because there's other trucks coming in and out and so <clears throat> uninterrupted I had some pretty good training well after this driver left my trainer said he was sorry he said I'm sorry about all that he said but I hope that if you have any questions just ask me because that was distracting and I said very distracting because I I want to do it right you know and um, I don't want to cut corners I don't want to just do whatever I want to do it the right way I want to be trained the right way and so that I can do my job good and uh, so anyway I started thinking about the uh, the Holy Spirit and I was giggling inside myself because I was getting a refresher course on what it was like in the beginning when the first experience of, of recognizing that the Holy Spirit was with me, okay? It is, it is a totally, it's a totally cool experience when, when the Holy Spirit makes makes herself known or makes himself known however you want to say it um, 
and and begins to teach you from within okay the Holy Spirit has a voice and it comes from within but it also sounds like somebody's saying something to you or somebody's giving you information that you're not thinking of on your own okay I I'm horribly probably explaining this but I just want to read this out of John uh, John 14 25 okay and Jesus says that these things I have spoken to you while abiding with you okay while he was here among us in the flesh he's talking to his disciples he's saying but the helper the Holy Spirit who the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things see this says he I I say she sometimes but um, it says he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you okay so the the Holy Spirit is our helper okay and so what I'm getting at with this is listening to two different voices okay that's what is going on okay before before the Holy Spirit comes okay Jesus said when the helper comes okay so there's that's a whole nother place for me to be right now but right what I'm trying to share with you is my experience with this trainer okay I I don't like I don't like someone who is going to interfere with me being taught by the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is my trainer my teacher my helper my comforter my guide and teaching me how to live my life that is pleasing to live a life that is pleasing to God and to myself and to others okay and so when when there's other voices <clears throat> Like this other guy comes in and start, starts saying, well, you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. And um, don't worry about putting your gloves on. You don't need to do that. You know, this and that. Just basically taking the shortcuts. Okay. And that's, that's really not the way we want to do things. We don't want to do things like that. Okay. Um on the job or anything but that's just that's just what I was dealing with this week and I'm not being trained now they're putting me out on my own so I'm doing the job now um, with the training that I have which was sufficient I mean there's you know not a whole lot to learn because I already know how to drive the truck but loading and unloading when there's a computer involved, there's a pump involved, there's sanitation things involved, there's testing the water involved, there's certain things that has to be done. And so when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, okay, I, I just, I believe, I personally believe that God uses our life situations to teach us about the things of the Spirit okay and so like that I was being trained and then there was somebody else standing there saying oh don't worry about that no don't you don't need to do it like that well there's a trainer that was with me who was teaching me the right way to do things okay and that's who I want to listen to okay just like the Holy Spirit there's there is the Holy Spirit that is going to be teaching you all things and guiding you and re bringing to your remembrance the things that God has spoken into your heart okay about goodness about the good things about grace about mercy and forgiveness okay we have all those things inside of us okay 
but we we need the Holy Spirit to teach us and guide us so that we can learn how to do them okay because sometimes it's not easy being forgiving and it's not easy being kind when we're dealing with our flesh we know how to live in the flesh okay that that's just like this driving I know how to drive okay but when it comes to dealing with the load that's on the truck now I'm carrying something I'm not just driving the truck I'm carrying something so now that I know the Holy Spirit is with me I'm not just here in the flesh okay and Jesus said that uh, he says that uh, what did he say <laughs> I know what he said but let's bring it to our remembrance according to what it says he says these things I have spoken to you while I'm abiding with you okay so while we're in the flesh we're being taught certain things okay but when the Spirit comes to teach us it's not going to be of the flesh it's going to be in the Spirit okay so now not only are we operating in the flesh we're carrying the Holy Spirit with us okay and so there's there's other voices that we're going to hear okay we're going to hear those negative thoughts okay oh don't worry about this today or that today or whatever or you know it could be negative you know towards yourself you know like oh you're no good for nothing or or you're you know it's just there's negative things that negative thoughts there's other people other people are going to be interfering into your thoughts they're going to be distracting and you know it's not it's not for me to say who's going to be for your good and who's not going to be for your good. But it's a personal thing. The, the Holy Spirit and you are a personal thing, a personal relationship. And, and so it just gave me a remembrance, okay, of, of who I need to listen to okay I need to listen to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is going to teach me good things the Holy Spirit is going to help me stay focused on the right procedures and the right the right way to handle sensitive situations or it's going to teach me how to act relationally with people and I'm not always going to be the right it's not always going to be right. I'm not always going to be relationally right or communicate the best way. But the Holy Spirit with me is going to help teach me. So if you're being taught something, it's because you don't know how to do it yet. So if we, if we can just accept the fact that we're always going to need the Holy Spirit because we're always going to be learning and we're always okay not always going to be willing to learn but there's always that knowing that we don't know everything okay or else God wouldn't have sent the helper to teach us all things okay you can't know all things all at once so it's a lifetime thing it's a lifelong relationship and and so along the way as we're carrying the Holy Spirit with us we can't listen to outside voices that are going to tell us, oh, well, you don't need to worry about your the way you slow down today. Don't worry about slowing down. You know, the water is going to settle sometime. You know, you don't want to do that because when you're hauling water and you put your brakes on, things happen. Okay? And so just like when you're loading the water you want to make sure that you're putting your gloves on and that you're spraying down the the thing with alcohol and and you're following the right procedures because there's you know there's consequences so that's just what I learned today or I learned this week is 
listening to a trainer that was trying to teach me the right way and listening to another outside voice that was coming in it was kind of rude you know it was kind of rude and very distracting to to just interfere with somebody who's being trained okay first of all that was kind of rude and I just didn't appreciate it you know so um, I guess that's all I wanted to talk about I just wanted to share that because um, because it's difficult it's difficult living in this flesh when you got different voices and and uh, and all that but but God is good and God God's very gracious to us and and if you know like myself I I need to slow down sometimes so that I can hear the right voice and not let those distractions come and get me off my course that God has me on and God has me right where he needs me to be and uh, I'm gonna say good night for now because I'm getting tired and I'm gonna start rattling on about other things and I'm going to save it for another day because I want to talk about my mother's day. Um, it was my very first mother's day without my mom and um, it kind of turned out to be a really, really, really peaceful day. So um, I just had some things I wanted to talk about. For Mother's Day it's already happened but you know I wasn't ready to talk about it because I was overwhelmed there was a couple things that happened that you know were trying to distract me and uh, I I have no choice but to listen to the Holy Spirit because I just chuckle when that other voice comes in and says, ah, you don't got to worry about that, or, ah, that's not important. No, this is important. Life matters, okay? Life matters. And if God gave me a helper to get through this life so that I can, you know, live in the flesh and know that this is not my forever home, this is not my forever body, it's just, it's not. So... I, my lifeline depends on the Holy Spirit. So, you guys have a good night. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk soon. Good night.